the new DuckTales reboot has finally premiered, and although it was only one episode, a lot of the fans have already spoken their thoughts. What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. If you guys are new here, just scroll down, hit that subscribe button, always appreciated. And while you're down there, hit that like button, because they're both right there. Anyways, today we are talking about the all new DuckTales reboot series. It has finally premiered the first episode, and well, if you haven't seen it, I don't know how you haven't, because they played it every hour for 24 hours in one day. So, how was it? If you guys haven't seen it yet, I'm going to warn you, I'm going to be spoiling everything, so if you haven't seen it yet, stop this video, go watch it, come back, sounds good. So. We're going to talk about the new DuckTales series. Now before the series aired, my friend and I watched all the old original DuckTales episodes and the movie right before it premiered, so we were, we were refreshed, we were ready, but we weren't quite ready because we have to know that this new DuckTales is not a continuation, it is a reboot. So, let's get into this. In the beginning of the episode, it just, just shows DuckTales, there is no catchy theme song. I was kind of disappointed about that because you start every episode with the DuckTales theme song, but whatever. It's the first episode, they just want to explain what's going on. So, in the very beginning, we learn that Donald Duck is, their, is the caretaker of who, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. They live on this, like, houseboat type thing, and Donald has a job interview, but the babysitter lost her way, so Donald decides he's going to drop his nephews off at Uncle Scrooge's house. But Huey, Dewey, and Louie didn't know that Uncle Scrooge is their uncle. Scrooge McDuck is their uncle. So, that's kind of interesting because I feel like every time we've seen Scrooge and the nephews together, they know who each other are and that they're related. So that was kind of interesting. New little twist. Whatever. So as the story goes on, we start to get introduced to these new characters. We see Mrs. Beakley. Apparently Mrs. Beakley has been already helping Scrooge out in the past so there was no real introduction to her she was just kind of already there uh, one character we did not see is Duckworth I am very disappointed where is Duckworth so at first Scrooge isn't really fond of the boys he's really excited that he gets to take care of them and neither are they. They're not that excited that they get to chill with him. I mean, at first they're like, oh my gosh, Scrooge Green Duck, he's like the greatest adventurer ever known. But then they realize, oh, he's a grouch and threw us in a room. And then we all of a sudden get introduced to Webby. Webby is Mrs. Beakley's granddaughter. So she comes in and is like, oh my gosh. It's the triplets, and she has this great fascination with all their family. Anyways, she should, she's basically trapped in Scrooge's house, but is just wanting to adventure. Which is much different than the previous Webby from the original cartoon. Because she was kind of more this little girl, I just want to be with animals, I want to... I want to be with the boys, you know, I want to keep up, I don't know. So, Webby is really different. Mrs. Beakley is kind of really grouchy in this episode. I don't know if she'll smooth out as it goes on, but in this particular first episode, she wasn't very fond of anyone except Scrooge. Hmm. So, the story goes on, we learn that plot twist, Donald Duck is interviewing to be a employee for Flintheart Glumgold, which is Scrooge McDuck's 
enemy, and but he, Donald doesn't know that, so he's doing his thing, you know, like woohoo, I got a job, you know. So then it's all of a sudden, bam, we get the theme song. right in the middle of the episode. I know this was supposed to be kind of like a part one, part two, but I didn't understand why the crap there just was all of a sudden the opening theme song right in the middle of this whole thing. So Webby snuck the boys out of the room that they were put into and they find Scrooge's old relics and get some of these creatures out and whatever and now Scrooge is like, I have to go stop these now before my money bin that is like the capital of our city is destroyed and he's like you know kids stay here don't move just stay and of course they're like yeah right we're going to help and then Webby is like oh my gosh I finally get to be out of the house so we were also introduced to Launchpad Launchpad basically is kind of just Scrooge's chauffeur, as we see in this episode, he's not really a pilot, so to say, he's more just a chauffeur, but he keeps saying, you know, I can pilot, like, I, I, I'm a pilot, I can fly, but Scrooge is like, no, you just drive me where I want. So there's this dragon that's going after Scrooge's gold, so he's trying to stop him, and the kids are like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. You know, woo, woo, woo. So, anyways, you know, as expected, they stop the dragon from getting the gold. And soon, Scrooge is like, oh my gosh, that was so much fun and misadventuring. It's time to get back out there. So he decides, I'm gonna go find the lost city treasure of Atlantis. So, they go out. He decides to take the kids with him, but they're restricted to just being passengers, not really getting to help much. So once they find it, Flint Heart Glum Gold is also trying to go find it. And soon he is trapping all of Donald and Scrooge's family there to drown. But then soon Dewey realizes that Flint Heart took the wrong jewel. So then Scrooge is like, oh, let's get the right one. And that saves us. So then, they get out, they get back to town and be like, oh my gosh, you know, we have the real one. And Flint Heart is still only the second richest duck in the world. And then everyone's like, oh my gosh, Scrooge, you're coming back, you're going to venture and whatever. And then in the end, Donald and the nephew's houseboat explodes. And Scrooge is like, oh, you can just stay with me. We have some more adventures to do and whatever. And then, and then, and then right at the end, Louie discovers this painting of Scrooge and Donald on an adventure, lifts up the little page flap, and is like, Mom? And then it just ends. Like, no, you can't do that to us. Now we have to wait a month. So, what did I think of the episode? Overall, we have to remember, this is a reboot. It's, it is purely a reboot. The animation is updated, it's a mix of comic book and animation. It doesn't look lovely, but it doesn't look horrible. Some of the storylines are different, like Donald not going off to help the Navy. This time, he's actually taking part in the adventures, and the triplets all have their own separate personalities and own separate voices, so we can tell them apart besides the color, which kind of adds a fun, you know, little side stories here and there, but at the same time, it can kind of be annoying. 
because Dewey seems to be very attention grabby because he is the middle child of the three and so he's kind of well I'm just gonna go adventure I'm just gonna go dare and do this and whatever just for attention because I'm a middle child which it's kind of stereotyping that whole situation I don't know I'm trying to get used to it Mrs. Beakley probably was one of the biggest disappointments so far because she was just rude I felt like she was just angry that these nephews were coming in to their house and now she had to care for them too and she even seemed angry that she had to care for Scrooge at times. Webby I felt like was an upgrade because she wasn't just the damsel in distress she actually kinda had a side story that made sense you know I've been protected, you know, all I've seen of Scrooge is that he's rich and he just chills at home, you know, we just take care of him and he takes care of us and, you know, I want adventure and so now she gets to go explore that and whatever. Launchpad is hilarious, I, uh, the, technically the second part of the episode, uh, he got bit by snakes and became cuckoo, I, that was just pure today's type of comedy, and I'm sorry, I hate that type of comedy, it is just annoying and stupid, like, it makes no sense, and so I, I liked Launchpad in the first part of the episode, but the second part, I was just like, why? Why did you do that to him? Moving on. Now, the fact that they're actually leading off on a cliffhanger kind of hints that they're going to have an overarching story which I love those types of things where it's more of you have to watch the episodes in order for it to make sense. I'm not much of a fan of random things happening even though that pretty much is TV shows just random episodes of random stuff happening. I love it when they make an overarching story and so so far I'm seeing that's what they're doing with this which I'm super excited to see how it develops and progresses and whatever. So, that's kind of my overall thoughts on this particular episode, basically, because we've only seen this one episode so far. Overall, really, my thoughts, it's a reboot. That's truly what it is. It's a reboot. It tried too hard to bring back nostalgia while mixing in new elements while trying to be new for the new generation it just I don't know you try to do all that stuff and it just clashes so was I thrilled no was I disappointed no just kinda meh so I mean it's alright I recommend watching it if you're a fan of DuckTales but if you are a fan of DuckTales and I don't really have an opinion of what you should do. So guys, that's kind of my overall thoughts of the new DuckTales. Have you guys seen it? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on it. Really, it's it's just alright. I mean, I mean, I love the theme song, the new theme song, and the new opening title sequence. It's amazing that they're chasing Scrooge's lucky dime the whole time. It was great, but, you know, I don't know. That first episode hasn't really gotten me hooked, so to say. I want to know who their mom is, though, but it just it didn't excite me, I guess, as much as I hoped, but I am still going to continue to watch, so. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that like button down below, and if you're new here, press subscribe. Always appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!